Okay. A tracker's knot requires usually two loops just like this, like this and then somewhere down the length of it. But for your needs, because you're pulling two ends together, you don't need a full tracker's loop. You just need one loop at one end, you know, and make it according to the size. You know, you don't want this to be spanning the entire length of the bolt. Or you can do the two out, you know, you have the the two bolt holes here, you can do the two outside bolt holes, whatever, just to pull it together so you can get that uh, vice grip clamp on there. Anyways, the object here is that we would, you know, thread through one side of the hole like this, back through the other side of the hole, as you understand, and I'm pretty sure you understand what's going on here. And then, and then we'll go like this, and get it all the way over, sorry, all the way over to one side. Yeah, this way. So we can do that and pull really, really hard. Now, if we had the second loop there, because I don't think we need both, but if we had the second loop, you would thread this through the second loop and then pull back the other way which I, I'll show you that one, because that, you could break a lot of crap. It does a lot of leverage. So, but anyways, let's do the second loop just so you have the, the idea. Okay, so we wrapped around and we went through the first loop, okay? And then if we go back through and we go through the second loop that I just now created, and then we pull this way, pull tight, and then you pull back this way. If I pulled just a little bit harder, this multimeter would crush. That's a trucker's loop, uh, trucker's uh, knot. And all I do is just pull, and you keep pulling. It acts exactly like having pulleys at each end. It, it, it multiplies the force you're pulling. So it becomes actually really, really easy. And if we did another loop and pull back the other way, I mean, literally, you can, you know, crush stuff. So anyways, just to take it off so you can see it. And you can apply this to what you're doing and it'll make it easy because once you've done it one way and pulled the other way and got it locked together, all you have to do is just tuck a loop and it'll hold. But anyways, one loop at one end. You do another loop just a little bit further down. And as you saw, we wrap around the item, slip through this one. Pull this way, and I think this is all you'll need because you can, you know, put a lot of force and get it closed up. But if you need more, you put it back through here, and you pull back this way, you know, and it'll crush. Okay, but you're just trying, obviously, closing the gap.